everyone and thank you again for watching today is march 5th 2021 and we're out here doing a walk around video after four months of owning this uh beautiful rollback that we have this is truck number four uh it's been a long time coming we probably spent a year in planning thinking about just everything we wanted on our new uh flatbed rollback car carrier whatever you call it well, we call it a rollback um but we spent months and months of planning uh talking with the dealer trying to get everything right all the details are right on it because when we buy a truck we keep it for a while it's not a uh just anybody drives it uh me and my father are the only two that really drive our trucks so uh, we want everything to be right all the details to be right so uh, let's go ahead and give you a walk around and talk about this truck a little bit this is a 2021 freightliner m2 106 uh, has a Cummins uh, 6.7 300 horsepower motor. It was turned up from uh, I think it's 220 factory to 300 horsepower. It has the Allison 2200 series transmission behind it. Um, this truck was specced out uh, and it's D-rated to 26,000 gross. That way, you know, just uh, any regular driver's license will be able to drive operate this truck as long as they have a medical card. Um, that way, if I needed this truck in a, a quick notice, if I was on the road or dad was gone and I needed some backup, I can get a, a friend to drive it out there and bring it to us. And uh, that way we're not uh, left hung out needing a CDL driver. Um, this truck was built by Zips Truck Equipment out of New Hampton, Iowa. Um, great guys out there. Eric was our salesman. Uh, Eric did a great job getting everything together and and working through that pandemic and and trying to make sure everything was taken care of because it was difficult building a truck during the pandemic and not only that we're going to get it uh me and dad flew to new hampton i would have picked this truck up um right the first of november so that was a uh that was an interesting experience that i'd, I'd rather not deal with again flying during a pandemic but uh we got the truck back safe and sound uh, a lot of a lot of trucks stopped food and picking up eating in the truck and getting it back home uh so it was a very quick trip but we got it back uh this truck the freightliner chassis is built in mount holly north carolina at the freightliner truck plants over there that is about 20 to 30 miles away from us so it, it it's interesting to, to see the trucks get built we actually got to watch this truck get built and in this video i'll put some pictures there um because we have to, we actually got to watch the frame rails come out of the paint booth um the motor and transmission gets sit down in the chassis and then the cab was brought around and sat on and our tour guide over there jay he was great uh todd and and daryl and and uh miss dar she was they were all great over there hospitality was awesome we got to see this truck come in from the start and go out and my dad actually got to crank it for the first time which i'm gonna go ahead and put that video in right here go ahead. Out here. So that was dad cranking it for the first time and uh some of you may know my dad some of you don't my, that was a, a a great experience that was one of those things always on his bucket list was to crank his trucks when it comes off the assembly line so i'm glad he got to do that uh they offered it to me but i said no i want dad to do it but uh, he really did enjoy that a lot of clover people work over at that plant so it was neat to get to see and talk to those guys and tell them you know this truck's going to clover it's going to get worked every day down there but uh yeah that's where the truck was built at the bed is a 22 foot century lcg bed uh it was built in hermitage pennsylvania and that was really our our hold up was that that plant got shut down during covid for about i will say for about a month or two months and our truck sat in new hampton iowa for at least an extra month delay waiting on that bed to be built and that was it was the truck should have been done probably October and it ended up being done not in November. So, uh, but anyway, we got the truck and we're very happy with it so far. Uh, and then the side puller, I know that's what a lot of people want to hear us talk about. The uh, side puller is built in, I think it's Mountain Home, Idaho. So that's, uh, that and the toolboxes both, they all come from in the ditch. There's a lot of in the ditch products on this truck. And you'll see as we go through, but let's go ahead and get inside and let's see the interior on this truck. So here it is getting inside 
Uh, we did opt for the wood grain dash, the uh, leather wrapped steering wheel. And you can see all the, the switches and things like that. We do have uh, five USB ports, one on the radio and four on the dash, as well as a PowerPoint. So charging is not an issue. Uh, let me get my mask out of the way. Um, you can see all the custom touches and zips does. I even added the decal there. We went with two air ride seats and a center console for storage. And, uh, but uh, it does carry business cards, uh, first aid kit, safety supplies. I guess what I'll call in there, protection supplies in there right now. Um, but yeah, that's some of the uh, items we have. This truck, if you can see this switch right here, it does have a full locker rear end, an air locker to lock the rear end in. So if we do get in a sticky situation, we can just flip that switch and uh, help get us out. We went with minimizer floor mats in this truck. Even the custom touches have our logo put in those. We have our booster pack. If uh, any towers out there looking for a good booster pack, I would highly recommend the NOCO Boost Pro. Great booster pack. We have our rechargeable stream light, our gloves, safety vest, just some things like that. In our door pocket, we have our two remotes for this truck. Uh, let's see. So you can see here we have our bed remote, which has our winch functions, our bed functions, and our tilt functions on the bed. And we have our side pull remote, which just has our, uh, our winch. I did not want the outrigger legs on this remote that way if i'm in a in a recovery situation i'm down in a hole with the car there's no accident of hitting the button and run the outriggers up because these are hydraulic legs here on the side puller this is the sp12000 uh, it is a 12,000 pound side puller they do make uh four different models of side pullers uh now they make the sp8500 which is made uh, I think specifically for the uh, the smaller trucks, the Dodges, the Fords, and the, the Chevrolet 55 and 6500s. Um, they make the SP9000, which is generally what everybody uses. And then they have the SP12000, which is what you see here, 12,000 sample. And then they have the Big Daddy, which is the SP20000 that, uh, that uh, is mostly used on either 16 ton and up trucks. Uh, this is a little large for a car carrier rollback but the reason we went with this option is it's not that much more to go ahead and step up to the sp12000 it does give you a 12,000 pound winch and it also does give you the longer legs to where if you're on the side of the road uh, you don't have to worry about running out of stiff leg it gives you a higher hook point up here because the the mast is taller and uh it's just a, it's a stronger built unit than the sp9000 um, we do a lot of uh, 2500 F-250 trucks, uh, FedEx truck winch outs, things like that. Uh, recently, Amazon, where we're, we're doing a lot of these winch outs day in, day out, and I wanted a little bit larger winch so we could handle that kind of workload. So we did go with the SP-12000. Zips did custom build the uh, stainless panel to go right there to put our name on. Uh, they do not make that stainless panel for the 12,000, only the 9,000 pounds. So, um, Zips really did a great job. You can see up there, the wiring's all tucked away. It's just, they did a phenomenal job building this truck. All the little details they took into effect. Uh, it's got a wheel Justice 62 inch light bar, full light. It also has the wheel and adjustable scene lights on the side. Those could be turned forwards, backwards, sideways, upside down. I mean, there's uh, many options for that. We've got them turned out now so when our side puller's out, uh, it gives us light off the side, which is something you really need when working a side puller. We did go with in the ditch toolboxes and fender baskets. These are the 70 inch toolboxes. Uh, Zips custom built the top trays on top and uh, had those made for us with stainless steel fronts so they all match. We did get the full shelf in this toolbox. We got a, a toolbox drawer for our, our small hand tools. This just thrown in there, screwdrivers, pliers, uh, fence cutters, zip ties, 
it's not really organized in that box yet. Uh, we got shackles, snatch blocks, rim sling, uh, rollover stiff leg in the back, if you can see it, fire extinguisher. Uh, we also have the uh, lockout kit, Wreckmaster skates. We have the Wreckmaster eight point tie down with ratchets. Uh, our wheel straps are in the back, back there. We have some a bag with one inch ratchet straps as well as bungee cords, uh, mini J cluster, ball dog hitch, uh, soft shackles. These are great for recoveries as far as small cars and things like that. We use them a lot. Um, we have our rollover stiff leg chains, the quarter inch chains, uh, V bridle with clusters on it, and two J hook chains. On the top trays, we have a J hook chain. And in this basket is currently empty, uh, waiting on uh, race ramps to come in to put in that box. They'll fit right in. And that's where our race ramps will be stored. That way they're not in the way of our, our storage here in our toolboxes. Uh, behind the toolboxes, we actually have lumber baskets, which currently have nothing in it. Um, we're still loading and determining what we want to put on here. Uh, we are going to put traffic cones. There's traffic cones in this uh, fender basket right here now and are going to be mounted right here in this open space on both sides so depending on what side you are wearing that side pole you can throw cones out as you need them to block the roadway off so. and this bed we had custom made custom done with 10 marker lights down the side uh, one thing about me i love chrome and lights uh, so we had 10 marker lights. Uh, since Iowa, we did change these all to clear lenses and added the chrome rings around them, uh, which took quite a bit of time. Um, our control panel back here, uh, we did have an integrated control panel built. So you got your bed in, out, up, down, winch in and out, wheel lift, under lift, in, out, up, down on the under lift, side puller winch, and your stiff legs for your side puller as well as your air free spool for your winch right there so everything's all together so you can work it from the controls or you can run the remote either one uh you you have options moving around the back i am gonna say guys this truck is it was clean for the videos that you saw with the aerial shots but uh since then it's had to work before i could get this video so uh please please pardon the dirt and the uh this black gets dirty very easily so we did add wheel and lights on the back here zips put those in for us uh, amber reds as well as the uh the micro pioneers there on the top this uh wheel lift has a 4,000 pound rating uh the bed the deck has a 12,000 pound rating the uh the deck winch we talked about the side pillar winch, but the deck winch is a uh, 8,000 pounds Ramsey uh, Sierra winch. It's a planetary Ramsey. It's a new Ramsey winch. That winch is very fast. We've actually had to add the idle turn down this truck because it uh, operates so fast, it's hard to keep up with the car. So, But it is a, it's a very powerful winch. We've liked it so far. And talking about some of the changes we're going to do, we talked about the winch and the side puller, but uh, we haven't finished some of the things also is the, the deck winch we're changing that winch line to a uh, 100 foot super swag um, 3 8 winch line which is and what they do is they take a, a 3 8 winch or 7 16 winch line sorry and they they pull it down to the shape of a 3 8 so it has the working load limit of a 7 16 winch line but it's, it's still a 3 8 size and that's what we're going to install on this truck as well as our side puller is going to get changed over to our favorite winch line, which is synthetic, Samson M Steel Blue. I have it laying on my desk right now. I'm waiting on some bushings to come back for our, our boom heads up here. And we got to do a little bit of work cleaning up some of these boom heads where they've had wire run through it. But uh, other than that, we'll install that hopefully soon when we have time. But uh, we have been using the wire right now. Uh, our work lights here, you can see this is a combination light. It has a work light in the, or excuse me, a flashing light in the top and a work light in the bottom. This is a new Wheeling V series light, which we really like. This fender basket here uh, has our uh, trash cans, our oil dry, and our lumber baskets behind it carry our broom and shovel. 
make it easy to get to. This is our uh, other toolbox. It's another 70 inch box with 3 8 grade 100 chains. You have one 20 foot and two 10 foot for winching as well as tie downs, which you can see our binders up here uh, for skid steers, equipment like that. Uh, we have shackles, uh, ball joint skate for broken ball joints, as well as our jack and our, our nifty lug wrench. It can be used in this fashion or, or you can use this like a four way or when you're not using it you can and when you're not using it it collapses just to that right there so you can uh, easily store it in your toolbox we keep it right there and there's our our aluminum jack another snatch block rim sling and you can see that another top tray it carries a uh, another j-hook chain for the other side for when you're doing a uh, four point tie down you have your two j-hook chains and then you have your uh, straps that are on the other side Again, here you can see the winch line. This is a 7 16 wire rope uh, run through the boom heads. Uh, some of you are curious, I'm sure, of how you winch off of either side. Uh, it's simple, you can see this boom head. All you do is you come in here, you pull that plate off, loosen it up, and it comes right through those two uh, ears, and you throw it to the other side and you do the same thing. Put it back, simple as that. And you're ready to winch. And you see you have your recovery zone that you don't want to ever get out of. Uh, so a lot of times you'll see us in the future videos we have is we're coming through a, a snatch block right here and out. That way we're not pulling straight down that boom head. So, but we you'll see that in future videos, hopefully, as we get them turned out. But this is truck number four. We also added the uh, the front bumper panel, just like our 16-ton record, except we made these uh, these lights twinkle and dance. And we added the uh, M6 series there and the grill in the front. So uh, it really did turn out great. We're very happy with it. Uh, it's done a great job so far. And hopefully you'll get to see some videos here shortly of uh, this truck in action. But uh, thank you again for watching. We hope everybody's staying safe out there and hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our content. Leave us a comment, tell us what you thought. Tell us if you said, hey, I carry this on my rollback, but I didn't see you had it. Maybe you should think about it. You know, we're always open to ideas and opinions and things like that. So leave us a comment, tell us what you think. Uh, be sure to stay tuned keep an eye out for more videos coming we're trying to get back up there we've had some technical difficulties here this starting off this year and uh just trying to get things going you know from flash drives and hard drives failing to our cameras freezing up during halfway through recoveries but uh we're uh, still trying to work and get you some better videos so we got some new things coming this year i know um some new equipment coming so stay tuned and we'll, we'll share that with you when we get it and most importantly, God bless.